patient has no history of exacerbations, he's very short of breath, cannot walk more than 100 meters without stopping. What stage of COPD does he have? So this is my gotcha question. Okay, so how do we stage patients with COPD? So this is actually a change in guidelines. So this patient is actually a gold stage B, and I'll tell you why. So the COPD gold staging is how we use to develop a treatment plan for a patient, but it's no longer associated with the severity of airflow limitation, and I'll tell you why. For years, many of us in the pulmonary world, and probably several of you in the primary care practice have noticed that Patients with really severe airway obstruction may have minimal symptoms, they don't get hospitalized, whereas some patients who have more moderate airway obstruction actually are in the hospital all the time. They're difficult to control, they're very symptomatic. So the degree of obstruction doesn't necessarily go along with the patient's symptomatology, and the treatments are all gauged at symptoms. So now we have separated the stage, so although this patient has severe airway obstruction, his stage is based on his symptoms. So we look at both how short of breath they are, which can be measure, measured by the MMRC or CAT, I'll show you the MMRC, and the number of exacerbations. So the MMRC is a really short questionnaire. This is what we use in our COPD clinic. But if you can just remember what a grade two is. A grade two is I walk slower than people of the same age on a level service because of shortness of breath, or I have to stop for breath when walking at my own pace on a level surface. So if a patient can answer yes to that question, that's gonna upstage them. So for stage, if you are a frequent exacerbator, you're automatically a C or a D. If you're really short of breath, this MMRC greater than or equal to two, you're a B or a D. So our patient is not an exacerbator, but he's very short of breath, so he's a B.